Welcome to the Eduonix HTML5 Projects course. This course is going to be a little different than our other courses as it won't be so much explanation um, as there will just, I guess, uh, in the field development. All right, so we'll break this course up into 10 different projects, 10 different chapters, uh, about four to six videos per chapter. All right, so let's just go over what you should know before taking this course. Uh, it should go be without saying that you need to know basic web development and web design principles. Um, you should definitely know HTML, um, basics like headings, paragraphs, things like that, uh, inline images. Uh, you don't have to know all the HTML5 tags like section, main, A side. Uh, you can kind of learn those as you go, but it, it would help if you knew uh, basically all the, the new tags that HTML5 offers. Uh, basic CSS styling, you should definitely know at least a little CSS how to um, create divs and boxes and, and background colors and images and things like that. Um, JavaScript and basic jQuery. Alright, so if you're new to HTML5, you need to know that most of the advanced features that HTML5 offers are powered by JavaScript. Okay, so things like audio and video, um, drag and drop, uh, local and session storage, all JavaScript. So it would really help if you know at least the basics of JavaScript um, and events and, and callback functions, things like that. All right, so let's go through each project um, just very briefly. So chapter one is basically just getting started. We'll talk about uh, what HTML5 is, uh, and we'll look at some of the, the new structure elements, um, tag syntax, doc type, things like that. And we will do a, a very small project um, where we'll just create a web page with a header, a nav bar, um, a main section, a footer, things like that. And we'll style that with CSS. And we'll also implement just a, a little bit of JavaScript, just some simple um, events, click events, um, just to get started. All right, then we'll move to building a, an HTML5 blog front end. All right, so when I say front end, I mean the, the visual aspects of the blog, okay? We'll create a, a, a list of posts. Um, we'll create an ad, pay, an ad page with a form using HTML5 form elements. Um, we won't be building a back end, so we can't actually make blog posts through the browser. Um, that'll have to be done through HTML. All right, and we'll get more in depth with structure and CSS. Um, responsive we're going to make it responsive with media queries make a nice flexible layout that looks good on all devices chapter three will be an image gallery all right it will build in a ui or user interface with html5 and css3 we'll introduce data attributes which are basically attributes we can put on our tags that are strictly used for data, for computations and or whatever, things like that. Um, JavaScript and jQuery will get fairly heavy into that. Uh, we're going to be using two jQuery plugins to achieve animation. Um, one is Quicksand, which will allow us to click on a category and have the images kind of scatter and fall into place. And then FancyBox is a plugin that we'll implement to be able to click on an image and have it open up in a light box. All right, so that'll be chapter three. Chapter four, we'll, we'll get into uh, HTML5 Canvas, which allows us to create shapes, lines, and text. Um, we'll build a, the UI, obviously, in HTML5. Um, JavaScript Canvas scripting. The canvas element is an HTML5 element, but it needs JavaScript to be able to fill shapes, draw shapes, um, animation, things like that all have to be done in JavaScript. All right, and the snake game will also implement the local storage API. All right, and that's going to be used basically for the score. 
Okay, so we want to be able to, uh, each time the snake eats the food on the canvas, we want the score to increase. All right, and then at the end, it should have a high score, and that high score will stay there until it's beaten, and then it will be replaced by the new high score. So that's basically how the game will work. Chapter 5 is going to be uh, an application where we have graphical sticky notes. All right, so we'll use uh, sticky note images, and we'll be able to add text to those and move them around and um, add and delete them. So we'll build the user interface will be built with HTML5 and CSS3. And we're going to implement the web storage API here, which is basically uh, it's basically a, a, a local client side relational database where you can actually use SQL to add or, or remove or update fields or uh, data. All right, and we'll also look at the uh, drag and drop API because we'll be able to click on a sticky note and drag it around and put it where we want it. It will also look at app cache a little bit and we'll create a basic, sim very simple manifest file for this application. And this application will also be using uh, JavaScript object oriented programming. All right, so again, uh, we'll have a, a good amount of JavaScript. All right, so the next project will be uh, a drag and drop file uploader or actually an image uploader. So we'll, we'll build the user interface with HTML5 and CSS3. Uh, we'll implement the HTML5 JavaScript drag and drop API so we can, uh, you know, pull in files from our computer and just drag them and drop them into a box inside of the browser. And we'll be using a jQuery plugin called File Drop, which helps us do this. And we'll also be implementing a little bit of PHP. Uh, we're going to deal with the files super global array um, to actually upload it to a temporary directory. And then we'll use PHP to move it to the directory we want to move it to, the file and or the image. Okay, and then we have an HTML5 quiz app. So it's basically going to be a pretty simple quiz, five questions, all on HTML5. Um, and basically we'll have one question will show up. You pick the, the correct answer, multiple choice, click next. Another question will fade in, click next, and keep going until you reach the five questions. And then after that, it'll give you a score and you can have the option to take the test again. Okay, so pretty simple functionality. Uh, HTML5, CSS3, UI. Uh, we'll be using DOM manipulation, uh, mostly through jQuery, because obviously when we show question one, we're gonna hide the rest of them, and then question two, we'll hide the rest of them, and so on. And we're gonna use session storage uh, for this application. Um, which is basically the same thing as local storage except when you cut out the session when you close the browser uh, everything will clear and I think that's fair since this is just a quiz and you're just gonna get a score at the end there's not really any reason to save the score uh, beyond that session alright and then in the last part we're going to optimize the code all right, because I first I just want to start with very simple code, and there will be some repetitive blocks of code just to kind of to have you get it. But once you get it uh, in the last section in that chapter, we'll take that re repetitive code and combine it, compress it into one loop, uh, just to make it uh, more readable and just um, just better um, flexibility. Chapter 8, we'll be building an HTML5 audio player. Uh, this is probably my favorite uh, project in this course. Uh, we'll be building it from scratch. We'll build the UI. We'll, we'll get the play, pause, stop buttons. Um, and we're going to add functionality to each part of it. All right, so we'll do the HTML5 CSS3 UI. Uh, and then once we build the interface, we'll, we'll add the play, pause, stop functionality. Um, and then we'll build the playlist functionality. We're going to be able to just have a, a media folder where we upload songs and we can actually load them 
uh, into the player at like uh, for instance if you want a whole CD you can load all the songs on the CD and then you can just scroll through them with the with the next and the previous arrow buttons and we're also going to display the song duration alright we're going to display the time as well as a progress bar that will fill up as the song plays chapter nine we're going to actually get into mobile development we're going to use the jQuery mobile framework um, which uh, you don't have to get be intimidated it's pretty easy to use uh, we're not going to deploy it onto a, a smartphone or anything like that it's just going to be an HTML5 um, browser app but if you went to for instance if you uploaded this app onto a website and you went to that website on your phone then you would it would look really nice because it's using the mobile framework alright so basically it will be a multi-page Ajax template um, and if you've worked with jQuery mobile before you probably know what that is and we'll also use the local storage API for our to do's so we'll be able to create edit um, and delete our to do's okay the last project is going to be a customer manager system it's going to be very simple it's just going to uh, allow you to add customers to an indexed DB system alright so index DB uh, is an alternative to the web storage or the web SQL storage that that HTML5 offers which is actually depreciated depreciated um, so uh, we'll build the UI uh, and we'll actually be using bootstrap in this in this project we'll use a basic bootstrap template um, of course index DB storage we're gonna learn how to open and structure a database uh, and this is all on the client index DB is a client side database so uh, everything's stored in your browser alright there's no server needed um, adding and getting customers deleting customers and we're gonna um, use the HTML5 content editable attribute so that we can click on say a customer name we can click on it and it'll turn into an input box and we can change it and then when we click out of that box it'll actually update alright so that, that's something that we haven't seen before in this series so um, that's it I'm pretty excited to get started uh, we have a, a bunch of good apps here a lot of learning so I hope you enjoy the course